My name's John. Uh, for those of you I haven't met, I'm an engineer here. I've been here for a couple months at Decodable. Uh, and today I am demoing a pipeline um, from MySQL. We're going to take CDC data from a MySQL table and we're going to transform it a little bit and sync it into ClickHouse, specifically ClickHouse Cloud. Uh, I've demoed this previously in a very short video, but I think it would be more interesting to see how the sausage is made and how simple it is to create uh, you know, this, this entire end-to-end -end workflow. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen, and I'll show you what we've got. Uh, can everyone see? I need a thumbs up in the chat if you can see my terminal. We can. Yeah. We're good. Very cool. All right. Um, <clears throat> so we have an existing pipeline right now, or an existing workflow uh, that I, I wanted to show kind of just end to end what that looks like. Um, I've got a MySQL database. This is running in Amazon RDS. Uh, and this, just an existing table, existing database with data in it already. Um, so if I show tables, you're going to see this user contact table. This is what's currently feeding into the existing decodable workflow. Um, if I look at the schema there, we've got a user ID, which is the primary key. It is an integer. Uh, we have a timestamp field. We have email and SSN as strings. Um, I promise these aren't real people and real SSNs. Uh, they may be real because we're generating them, but hopefully they, <laughs> they don't actually correspond to anyone. Uh, so if I go ahead and select, let's say select star from user contact, we'll, um, we'll see there's some data already in it. Sending, let's limit 10. So we see that we already have some data sitting in that table. This is just random generated garbage. Uh, so we created a MySQL CDC previously connector um, that's talking to this table. And that takes that data and it plops it out into a stream. <clears throat> um, this stream you'll see has the same data. Uh, there's the primary key, user ID. We have time, email, SSN. Uh, so that's pretty much just taking this one-to-one -one from that source and putting it into a, a decodable stream. From there, we are cleansing that user data. We're doing a transform. Um, in Dakota, we call that a pipeline. Uh, and so we are taking that data and we are, uh, we're projecting a few fields, user ID, time, email. Um, we are splitting email into find the domain. So in this case, it'd be like school.edu, decodable.co. And then we are hashing the social security number uh, to make that more secure. That data is ending up in another outbound stream. So you'll see again, it's keyed on user ID, but we've got these new fields. Uh, so email domain and the SSN MD5. And finally, that is ending up in a sync that's going to ClickHouse. Uh, ClickHouse is a OLAP database. Um, it is one of the hosting solutions the one we're using in this instance is ClickHouse Cloud. Um, they make it easy to spin up a uh, ClickHouse DB that you can connect to. Um, so I've got some data going into this table I made already. This is the uh, console that you can use to look at the tables that exist within ClickHouse Cloud. So if I am selecting star from this table I made, um, and I'm again ordering by user ID, we'll see that same data over here that we had over here. And so basically the data is going straight from the MySQL database. It's flowing through our pipelines. We're getting that transform of the email domain as well as the MD5 hash. And then it's ending up here in ClickHouse Cloud. Um, if I were to, I've got a script here off screen that just generates data um, and it shoves it into that table. So if I were I'm running that right now, you'll see a higher user ID over here, right? We're at, uh, increasing max UI, uh, user ID. I go ahead and run my query again over here and we'll see that user ID is increasing at the same time. So it's, it's real-time data transform going from MySQL over to ClickHouse Cloud. Um, and so that's kind of, that's what the end-to-end -end looks like. That's that's what, you know, once this is up and running, what you could expect. 
uh, when you have a pipeline or a workflow working in Decodable, but I want to show you how we actually build that. So uh, let's start from scratch. If I want to create a new table in MySQL, then uh, let's go ahead and do it with the same schema as the existing one. So I'll create table. Uh, we'll call it user contact demo. And we want to use the same schema as user contact. All right, so I describe that table. We'll see the same schema, user ID, time, email, social security number. Uh, and then if I select star from user contact demo, we'll see that it's empty. Uh, so I want to go ahead and create a connection that talks to that MySQL database. So I go over to the connections tab under decodable. Uh, I'm going to make a new connection, scroll down to MySQL CDC. We'll connect that, set it as source. Uh, and then I need to grab the host name. Again, this is hosted in RDS. Oops. So I'm going to paste the host there. We are using port 3306. Our database is called DB name. <laughs> Uh, that was a very good choice. Uh, table is going to be user contact demo. That's the table that we just created. Uh, the username is admin, and then the password is something very secret. And it's going to prompt me to say, where do you want this data to be spat out into? So it's going to read that MySQL data, and you will need to create a stream for it to to output that data into. So we could select an existing one, but instead we're going to create a new stream and we'll call that stream uh, demo user data or contact data raw. And so I need to create the schema. Uh, that's going to match the schema over here on the left of the table. So we'll have a user ID. That's going to be big int primary key. We want to have a time, which is a timestamp. And we'll use precision three uh, because this could be used as a watermark, and three is the, the max precision there. Uh, email is going to be a string. And social security number is also going to be a string. And then the name of the connection is MySQL CDC connection. We'll go ahead and call it demo MySQL. Uh, so demo contact info source, All right? And so we create the connection. It's going to build the connection in the stream, and we have to hit start here for it to start reading. Uh, and while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and populate a little bit of data into that table so we can see it flow through the pipes as we go. Uh, so I'll run my script now pointing toward user contact demo, generate a little bit of data. All right, and then if we select star from user contact demo, we're going to order by user ID again. Sending and we'll limit 10. Oops, what did I do wrong here? I'll select. Great, so we'll see that we have a few records that have been inserted into the table. Uh, this is now running. And so we should see that data showing up in this stream. So the preview shows us the, the key, which you'll see matched over here. Uh, and then the rest of the values, time, email, and social security number. Uh, so that, that source is set up. We've got data rolling in in real time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and transform that. Uh, let's go ahead and perform that transformation again. So I'm inserting into a new stream. Uh, we'll call it demo user contact transformed. And we can project user ID. We're going to project time as well. Um, 
We're using backticks here uh, to escape the name, like standard SQL. Um, our wonderful UI engineers have color coded everything, so you know time is a keyword. Uh, so we have to escape it if we want to use it as a field name. Uh, we're going to project email. We're going to split email. Uh, we'll split it on the ampersand or the the at symbol. Uh, we'll take the second piece of it and we will call it email domain. And then we're going to take an MD5 hash of a social security number and we'll call that SSN MD5. And we're pulling from that that source that uh sorry that stream that we were just looking at. Um, and if I want to if I want to fool around with this, if I want to see you know how does this is this uh, correct SQL? Is this what I want? I can go ahead and hit this run preview button. So say I'm building this up iteratively. Uh, I can check, you know, am I pulling these fields correctly? And look at that, they come out. So let's let's add those other two that we pulled out. And let's preview those. Oh, I need a comma there. And this kind of gives me a, an eye into what that will look like. Uh, in that resulting stream. So I'm seeing user ID, time, email, email domain getting pulled out, and then that MD5 again. So that's great. I'll hit next. This is going to ask me, do I want to create that output stream that I specified before? It infers the schema based on what I'm pulling from my SQL. And I'll go ahead and create that stream. And we'll call that user demo, user contact transform. And then I need to start that. Oops, I think I forgot to turn off some other connections. We are on a, a, a demo account right now. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and stop these, these guys and I'll go back to my pipeline. I had demo user contact transform. That's that that transform that I just made and I'll hit start again. Um, now, for any 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 clever uh, people at home watching this, thinking like, why would you bother with the codable? Uh, ClickHouse has a built-in table engine where you can point it at a, a remote MySQL database, and you can just you know sync those two up that way. Um, the beauty of decodable is really in this transform that we're building here. Uh, you can use decodable as a way to change your data to to normalize it denormalize it um, if you want to format your data differently if you want to clean it verify it pre-process it uh, basically we're giving you all those etl tools for free here in real time uh, via sql so um, that's that's sort of that that bonus you get over trying to use a built-in engine is that you actually get control over your data and all the pre-processing steps that you'd want to take to make sure what's landing in ClickHouse is exactly what you want in ClickHouse. So let's wait a second for this to start. We'll see it populate out in this stream. Okay, so it looks like that's running. We've got our, uh, again, keyed on user ID. And we're seeing email domain, social security, MD5. So that pipeline's running. And so now we want to create our sync. So we'll create a sync there. We'll go ahead and click house. Um, again, I said I'm using ClickHouse Cloud. Uh, I'm going to sync it to this existing existing uh, cluster that we have set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit connect. This will give me the URL that it's at. Um, right now, our connector operates off of the HTTPS uh, address of the ClickHouse table. Um, in the future, we might change that to uh, TCP, but for now, we're just, we're going with HTTP. Uh, this is a, this is kind of in a demo state, so you have to specify a little bit extra. The port is part of it. Um, we'll probably clean up the UI, but for now, we're just specifying the uh, address of the database, and then we are calling it default cluster. That's what ClickHouse Cloud makes your, your cluster name. The database is also default. Um, the table, let's go ahead and drop this table, and then we'll recreate it. So if I drop table default.decodable demo. 
Great, that's gone. And now I want to create that table, right? So we'll create a table. Uh, Default.decodable demo. Specify the schema. The schema again is going to match up with whatever was coming out of this stream that we just created with that transform. So we'll have user ID, which is a 64 bit integer. We've got time, which is a date time. We have email as a string. We have email domain, which is a string. Uh, we have that hash, which is a string. The engine is going to be a replicated merge tree. Uh, merge tree being the basic engine for most click house tables. Uh, and then we're using a replicated version um, based on the configuration that's provided by, by click house. So uh, we'll make the primary key user ID. And let's go ahead and create that table. Okay, so we've got the table. And now I'm going to go ahead and select from that and make sure that we have no data in it. Cool, empty table. So now that I've got my table, table name is decodable demo. We'll put decodable demo. Our username is default. Uh, again, that's a, a default provided by ClickHouse Cloud. And I'm going to copy my secret password. Cool. And then, so what is the input to this sync going to be? It's going to be that transformed data that we were just looking at. So I'll go ahead and hit next. And the schema is inferred for the connector from that uh, source that we were just looking at. And I'm going to call this demo clickhouse sync. We created the connection. We have to start it. And while we're doing that, I can go ahead and look through a few pieces of the stream. I guess we already did look at the, the data coming in. So maybe we don't need to do that right now. Um, but yeah, we'll just wait for this to get started. And when that's going, we can select here and we'll see the data that was in that previous stream. Oops. Sorry, I want to go to demo click out sync. I want to look at the inbound stream. That's what I'm looking for. So we've got this data right here, um, which corresponds to this data that we're seeing in the, the MySQL database. And while that's starting up, did we have any questions that anyone wanted to pop in? All right. Okay, so we're running. Uh, let's go back to our ClickHouse console here. We'll select. And just like we thought, um, those top 10 user IDs we're seeing over here, only now we have the email domain extracted and then the social security number is obfuscated. So let's go ahead and show what that looks like in real time. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start up that data generation script again. And while that's plopping records into MySQL, we'll see this user ID is increasing on the left. Likewise, we'll see that increasing in ClickHouse as well. So we've got real-time data flowing into MySQL um, that's flowing through our pipes. We're transforming in real time. We are cleaning, we are masking. Um, we're doing our ETL in Decodable and it's coming in in real time to ClickHouse Cloud. And that's that.